Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. The frustration stems around not just how much they're striking out, but more importantly, how much they're striking out looking. He acknowledged that the opposition is making good pitches, but he also said that they're hittable. They feel like there's no reason to accept letting pitches in the strike zone go by in two strike situations. Leading off for the raid. Okay, the thank Kevin you, Heidi. Travis Darno. First delivery to him on the way. An outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. In there, and it's 0 2 now. and two count here's the pitch and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball as a hitter you got to be staunch in your game plan you know he has a nasty change up and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone that's a great take right there this is on the ground over to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out and early look at the line the score here base. tonight as we play the Eric. top of the fifth and boy just Still one gone. lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Stepping up now Eric Sogard first time up he went down looking. Yeah Maddie and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got to bear down he gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play. In there for strike one, zero oh and one. Fouled off. Ready with the 0 2. Again, he sends it out of play. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. Throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, now you can it. see that he was thinking too fielder. right out of the box. Yeah, Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now. 0 and 2. On its way, the 0 2 pitch is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got a hurry and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. The batter number one shortstop Willie Adamas. Ready now Willie Adamas flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1.
swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Olsen is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Ray's strand just the one. They trail it here three to nothing. Ready once again, Matt Chapman. No hits to this point. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. Here's the first pitch to him. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. A one pitch on its way. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Nope. Maybe Ball trying one. to back him up a bit there with the one fastball. Ball, right, Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam it with that running action on that two seam fastball. And this is hit hard to the right side, nope. but foul. foul. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. This is foul right side. And that misses two and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Get hard back up the middle. Played on the backhand. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, first baseman, Matt Olsen. Number 49 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 49. So one away here with the bases empty, and that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Pitch on the way. Ball. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Aye. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness fielder. that and work in his Mark. solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Stepping in now, Mark Canna. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Here's the one and one pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. 
line toward center field. Kiermaier will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three go the A's, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Riding in once again, Joey Wendell and Dan he and his fellow Reading top of the order Tampa hitters Bay. haven't really offered the much help baseman. for this lineup so far. Joey, no, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0 and 2 now. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here just the body language he knows he's on top of his game executing a nasty slider down the way right there giving this offense no chance the wind up and the 0 2 pitch that misses one and two wow kind of an interesting pitch call there the batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one so you would think you'd go right back there but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. This has popped up. Chapman is there for it. One out. Up next for Tampa Bay, the right fielder, Austin Meadows. Digging in, Austin Meadows. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1 0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1. When you're down 0 1, your head's on swivel. There to play it is Profar, and there are two away. The left fielder, number 29, Tommy Fan. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. First pitch of the at-bat. And he takes ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And no one will track it down. One and one, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Loriano is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. Still down, three nothing. Standing in, Ramon Laureano. He'll lead it off as we start the home the sixth. Right Number 22. First pitch on its way. A ball yep, and no strikes. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. That misses 2 and 0. Oh. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Outside, 3 and 0 oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 oh count.
Hit on the ground out to short. Adamas brings it in. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first because the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Striding forward now is the DH, Chris Davis. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. stretch here's the pitch and that misses ball one the 1 0 clips the zone low and outside for a strike. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Loriano gets his lead at first, nobody out. Two balls and two strikes, the count to Chris Davis. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. 2-2 Two -two pitch is fouled away. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Hard on the ground towards short to second for one. On to first, and they get them both. It's hard to do anything with a pitch no like that that's below the zone. Yeah. And if you do do anything with it, Pinter. most of the time, this will be the result. A double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Into the box now, Chad Pinder. Shot toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Just an absolute laser at that time. That's Screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Here's Jerickson Profar. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. The throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Well, he was almost out of the inning, but the last two batters showed him that you can't lose focus on the mound, even if you get two quick outs. Back to back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you. Josh Fegley will swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Aggressive lead from the bag at second. Now the pitch. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 2 now. Ready with the 0 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. But the A's get a run on this RBI double. 4, 5, and 6 coming up to start the seventh with the A's up 4 zip. 